Hey guys, it's Chris with CT Golf Reviews. I'm here with my buddy Pete from Pete and Chris Amusements. And uh, we are going to be reviewing a place I have not been to in a very long time. We're here at Old Sawmill Mini Golf oh, in dude. Oxford, Connecticut. Well, that's your fault. Let's get out there and do the review. By the way, I don't have my drone, so no aerial shots this week. I haven't been here in years, guys. I'm so excited for this. Uh, and as a matter of fact, they actually redid a couple of things here. Um, but it looks just about the same as far as I remember. They have ice cold beverages. They have ice cold and beverages. Flies in my hair. That's right. So, all right, hole number one. Look at this tea boxes. And uh, it's got a very rustic look to it, too. So. Let's see, let's get one. Ah! I want to redo. If you moments later. All right, let's try this again. I could tell this is gonna be a fun round today. All right, let's see. Right in there. Well, I'm at like... It was you and Alice, you got an extra one. I like playing golf with you. I'm already winning. Shut up, Pete. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why? All right, look at this. I am not six feet tall, and uh, I got to watch my head on this tree. But here's hole number two. Pretty simple looking. Ah, uh, we can't do a ton of one or maybe something with water. Well, all we right. We can't do too much. We don't have a whole pond. But... Try it out, Pete. Swear to God, if that goes in. Swear to God, if that's a hole in one, dude. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, my turn. Here we go. Let's not do what we did before. Ready? Here we go. Look at that. Right there. Up. Down the embankment, through the hole, and... In. Oh, looked out. Here we go, ready? In two. for two, look at that. All right, presto Pete. <sighs> Close. Here we go. Let's see. Ooh. How about that, how's that looking? Nope. Ooh. It's okay, I'm gonna do one of these. That I'm gonna take right it and I'm gonna go boom. Yes! And I'm gonna miss the hole. Yes! <laughs> Why? You see Chris play mini golf, it's hilarious. He tries and he's awful. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, that's duct tape. And uh, the greens have seen better days. Let's say, is, don't tell me. No, okay. And... Over one hump, over the second hump, and look at that. That is... Not in, but that's okay. Let's move this so that way it's a putter head length. You can do that. And maybe about right there. And two. two. All right. Holes behind that rock right there. Here we go. Uh, that is nowhere near where I need it to go. So let's do this. Of course, the part two. Put her head away. Nope, but take it. Do one of these things. Put her length away. <laughs> what the? You know what? It's I'm doing this with one hand. Four.
All right, Presto Pete of Pete and Chris Amusements. Let's see if you can uh, get a hole in one here while holding the can on your head. Open can. Yep. Let's see. All right, let me go chase it. Hold on, I gotta chase this. One shot, one shot, one shot. Oh, it was very close. Oh, with an oh. All right. This should have been a part two. This should have been a part two. You're not wrong, Pete. I got that with a can of soda on my head. Yeah, I know. Look at this. See? That's a birdie. That's a birdie. That's a double ah. bird. All right, presto. All right. We're here. That's right. Let's go. In the hole. And, nope. All right. Nowhere near it. Not a damn place near it, but southpaw this thing. Oh no, that's fine. Par three, gotta get it over there. Watch this. See that? That didn't work at all. Not at all. I'm gonna do one of these things. I don't even know if this is legal. Oh, oh, I thought it was going in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's like five or 17 or something. I know, right? You missed the first. But that's a par for me. That's is, a tough one. Is that supposed to be sand? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's uh, it's a rug, let's it's avoid, a rug let's avoid the sand. Here we go. Get in there. Holy That's crap. right, Rockstar. All right. I have always wanted to know. Oh. There's literally nothing in here. For years, I always thought this was like a mine into the mountain. Nope, just a storage area. Oh. That's actually disappointing. Actually, that might be a mine shaft. You think it was? There was a lot of quarrying out in this area, so that could be a mine shaft. Oh, who knows? Presto Pete just got a hole in one. Let me see if I can replicate that. He put the ball here. So I'm gonna do the same thing he did. There. Nope, not even close. But I will tap this in for a par. Okay, let me rephrase that. Presto Pete just got two hole in ones. All right, let me try to replicate. He put it here just to see what's talking about how the hole doesn't really have any decoration. But. Let's see. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Nope. That's... <laughs> Two in a row, That's baby. not fair. <laughs> Two in a row. I'm filming this just in case you get a third hole in one, which ain't going to happen, but it's okay. That was a tough one. All right, ready? I'm going to go right here on the tee box, which, by the way, happy they have this. Look at that. Right there. Right in. That's Boom. what I was trying to do. That's right. Right there, hole in one. That's right, Rockstar. Look at that. Look at this one. We get to hit from a gazebo. Very short hole. This is a very... Is this a gimme? Oh, it's probably a down thing, yeah. Is it? Let me see. Is it? No, that's it. That's it. Wow, okay. Wow. Okay. All man. right. I guess if we miss this, we just suck, huh? Holy oh, crap. There is an obstacle. It's a piece of wood. There is, and it's also wrinkled carpet, but it's okay. Presto Pete with a hole in one. No. Presto Pete does not get a hole in one. Oh, yeah, no. oh crap. Oh, you just suck then. Three. See now look, see something like this, I don't like this. Like that's gotta be that's gotta be fixed. Yeah. All that? Nah. That that'll reduce your score. <laughs> Which I've already got the score in my head, but I'm just enjoying the round. Look at that. I suck. Achieving. I suck too. It's deceiving. Oh, I like you can see all the way through to the to the water. The water's down there. Mm. Oh, a drinking fountain. I give it crit. Yeah, porta potty water. <laughs> hey, at least the water's blue though. Look at that. Okay. Lower hole. That one right there is a two-stroke penalty. So you can get a hole in one, and it would be. 
a par. Wow. All right. This is a par right. three. This is a hard one. This might be the hardest one on the course. Let's see, presto. Ah. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, you may have saved yourself. All right, let's see if I get it. Oh, no, don't do it. Oh, okay, yeah, we're in, the, we're in the same boat. Wow. Let me move this over a little bit, putter length away. Okay. Oh, come on. It wants to roll back. It's not even like... Okay. Right. Okay, I'll let you go because I can't get... In the there. And now watch. Ready? This will be for two. That'll be for three. No. All right. Yeah, this is going to... Where are you going? Stop. Stop. Bad ball. Bad ball. Bad ball. My viewers are probably like, dude, what are you doing? Oh, All right, this is already... Wow, dude, the bricks are like coming off. Look at that. Another thing I got to take into consideration. Four. Four, but plus two. I don't even know what I got. Yeah. All right, Pete. Oh, nope, okay. All right, let's see. Will this be, uh... Timey. Two. Down. Well. There we go. And... Ah! Are you kidding ah! me? Great. What? All right. This is like the, uh... Signature hole here. It's a face slapper. You get, yeah, it's a face slapper. You got the face next to <laughs> You got the water wheel, but this is what they actually renovated in here from what I understand. All of this stuff in here, check this out. This is pretty cool. Got the lights that come on, very uh old feeling. And yes, this is a real stainless steel old school oven. That's cool. Oh, right there. Is that in? Almost. Oh, all right. Let's see. It's the first time I'm doing this with two hands. Where am I? By the pot belly. By the pot belly. Two. Nope. Oh, jeez. Come on, dude. Three. Nope. That's going to be a four. Wow. Oh, no, man. I really, I really messed that one up. Oh, oh yeah. That is... That, that is not right, Rockstar. Oh, you're trying to hold my hand. All right, 17. Here we go. Let's follow it down. You have a choice. Oh, and I'm in the grass, too. Oh, oh, this, this sucks. And this uh, feels like 70s shag carpet. Oh, it's shaped like a butt cheek. <laughs> it's shaped like a butt. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's three. All right, time to choose. 18th hole is difficult, and the 19th hole is difficulter. I'll do that one. I'm actually thinking of the same thing. You know Let's what? Yeah, why not? So this is how it works, Pete. Yeah. You hit here. That's oh, yeah. the 18th hole right there. Then you, do that one. then you do that one. That's the 19th where you lose your ball. Pete with his third hole in one in this game. Let's see if I can replicate it. Looks like, looks like, it's, nope. nope, two. And finally, the 19th hole. So uh, I guess oh. what you want to do. I see what it is. You just got to get in the hole. You, you got to. Get it down here, you lose. Yeah, you get it down here, you lose. Get it in there. Probably win a free game. And you get a free game. But look, it's got blocks and stuff in here blocking it. So it's not as easy as you think. This is what I call the oh crap hole. Oh crap hole. Oh crap. Presto Pete, see? That was already awful. I don't think that counts. Try that again. Go get that and try that again. Oh, this is going to be difficult. That's got to be a perfect shot. Yeah. That's... Where's my professional putter when you need it so I can line these shots up? Try that again, Pete. All right, let's see if he does it. No. All right. He's got to get it in there. Just gotta get it up. It's a, it's a ramp. There you go. 
I'm not cutting this until you get it. <laughs> All right. And oh, rejected again. So that's four. Okay. Oh, we should have picked the other hole. Yeah, right. And dude, oh. you suck. <laughs> You can't, even throw, you can't even throw it. In. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't win or lose. I'm not cutting. If that went in, that would not have counted. Holy crap. This one's difficult. This is difficult. All right, here we go. Wow. Did you miss though? What? Was that so hard? Did you get it? Yes! Did, did, I, did I get it? Yeah, what is it? Yeah. The alarm didn't sound though. I ain't getting an alarm. That's cheap. Oh wait, unless it went over or down into here. I don't know. But I did it in one and you did it in like... 17. 17, so I'm going to consider that a win. Uh. Well, after probably the most interesting mini golf round or golf round in general on this channel, I am sweating. Pete's over there. It's time to get back and do the final review. All right, well, that was a fun round. And by the way, I'm filming this like a couple hours after the review. Pete and I are building a mini golf course at a campground in Rhode Island. That's the reason why he came with me today. We were actually on our way back from a gig and uh, he's like, well, we got a couple hours to kill. You wanna go do anything? I'm like, yeah, let's go mini golfing. He's like, oh, okay. I'm like, cool, I'll review it too. And then I realized, oh crap, I don't have my drone, but it's okay. So what we did is we were taking, you know, mental notes as we were playing, but we were still making it a lot of fun. So that's why Pete was in the video. And that's why, uh, you know, that's why I really didn't cut a lot. Everything you saw was as candid as possible because I wanted to just make it as, as fun as possible. And it was, you know. And it's kind of difficult filming mini golf reviews because I have to do it with one hand holding the camera because, I, again, I didn't have any, I wasn't prepared today. So it was literally last minute, but we made it work. And uh, I'll tell you, that was funny, that last hole. Pete could not get that ball up that little ramp to save his life. And I figured, you know what? Let's make people laugh with this. So didn't cut the camera, and I'm happy I didn't. Here's the thing about this course, though. I've been to this course for years. I've been going to the course for years, and actually it, it, it had been a very long time since I had played uh, since, you know, earlier. Doing golf reviews and doing reviews on anything in general, being a, uh, geez, I don't want to call myself a critic, but, you know, I, I mean, I guess I guess some people have, have said that, hey, you're a critic, you're a golf critic. Okay, well, I guess I'll take that, that, uh, that name, but you have to consider everything. Now, this place holds a, a, a near and dear place to my heart. I've been going there since I was like six years old. I remember going there with my friends and my family and stuff. And I never realized how out of shape it is until today. And it sucks because I have to talk about that. And I have to, I have to air uh, the things that I did not like about the course. I have to talk about that, you know? However, there's a lot of things I did love about the course. I mean, absolutely nostalgia like i i love the feeling of nostalgia for a while the course was closed down i uh, i i know it was uh it was under new management for a couple for a couple of years and then it closed and then it got bought out again at least this is from what i understand this is the last thing i heard because uh for example you used to be able to go into that caboose you used to like the restaurant was open um which it was not today. There used to be where the 18th and 19th hole is, there used to be this uh, slingshot water balloon game. And I guess the new people took that out. You know, going back there, it, it made me feel really good. But let's let's talk about, let's talk about this because I don't want this video to be too, too long. I'm going to give the course conditions a three because of the fact that the carpet is falling apart. Some of it's held together by duct tape. The rocks are coming off of the edge. The bricks are falling apart. The carpet is overlapping some cups. The cups are not necessarily in the best condition. Uh, you saw 
you you saw how it looked. It's kind of hard to play in certain spots. You know, some of the carpet's very shaggy. I feel like it needs to be cleaned in order to have a better effect. The paths leading to the holes are not bad. They're actually decent. The the signs, some of the signs are a little hidden. You know that that, that indicate you know what hole it is. Um, but I also see that they've replaced them with the bigger flagstick looking ones. So that is an improvement. And I like how it, it tells you what the par of the hole is and, you know, what hole you're on. I like that. I kind of wish that there was a, a place to keep score, like a little table every once in a while, but that's okay. Not everybody's going to do that. But I feel like if they were to go in and really, like, do some tedious work, I mean, you could even see the tee boxes are starting to, like, come loose a little bit. And it, it sucks because that affects the way your, the ball gets hit. So... I feel like if that was fixed, if the carpet was fixed, at least lined up and like straightened and flattened out and everything, it'd probably make it a lot easier because when you have wrinkles in a mini golf carpet, it makes it very difficult to aim your shots because it's technically not fair, you know, and it's not supposed to be there. If it was like a, a wrinkle because it was like a theme, maybe like a water theme, like it was a ripple in the water, I'd understand that. But, you know, these are just old carpets that haven't been placed properly in years, so... You know, the same thing with the brick. I feel like if you guys were to just take a little bit of time, go in and, you know, get a uh, get a brick layer to just come in and fix them. You know what I mean? Not have to redo everything. Most of it's good. But, you know, just come in and fix a little bit of it. I feel like that would make a huge, huge difference. You know, maybe, maybe fix the spots with the duct tape instead of just putting duct tape over it. But that's just me. I feel like it's an aesthetic thing. Um, but unfortunately, the course... I thought it was being renovated. I, I, I follow them on Facebook. I thought it was being renovated, and it turns out they were only fixing up the actual, you know, the, the sawmill part, the building with the water wheel, which looks nice. I really like it. It looks a lot better than it did the last time I, I was in there. You know, it, it's very uh, rustic. It, the, the entire course is very rustic. So, unfortunately, I, I have to give the conditions a three because of the fact that there's a lot of stuff falling apart, and I feel like it could be easily fixed. Pete and I, too, were also taking mental note of all of this because, like I said, we're building a mini golf course and, well, not really building, we're renovating a decrepit mini golf course at a uh, campground in Rhode Island that we all perform at. So uh, I will probably review that. That will be the only out-of-state review. I'll do a before and after video, but hopefully if, if this works out, we'll be able to branch out and possibly do more. But, um, you know, I, I take into consideration, you know, uh, crappy carpet and, you know, bricks falling around, you know, falling over, and, you know, you know, maybe the wood is is uh rotting out that you would use as a border or something so you know the things that need to be fixed but i i know that it probably costs a lot of money maybe it doesn't cost a lot of money i don't know i'm going to be learning about all of this so you know but that's just my take so conditions get a three but let's get into the good stuff now because i feel like the conditions are really the only bad part the layout of the course i'm going to give a seven the layout and the scenery are both going to get a seven uh, I feel like the layout is very nice. I like how it runs through the garden and everything. It looks like it's going through... Uh, it, it, it's like a, it's like it's going through a garden. Like a rustic old quarry that was made into a garden that's got big bushes and trees and stuff around it with some water in it that runs along a river. I think that's the best way I could describe it. But I, I like it. I like how you can't see everything from the course from certain spots. Like, you don't necessarily know where the hole is because some of the shots are blind you know like that big par three that like arched around that pete tried to do with the can on his head uh i like how it had some blind shots some of them are very challenging i like how the environment around it made for almost an adventure you know it's like all right cool we got this hold on where are we going next what's this one gonna look like i wasn't able to see this from over here oh wow this looks cool then you get up really high and you're like whoa i i, never, I didn't see that hole before and wow that part of the course looks really cool i can't wait to go over there you know stuff like that it gets you excited it gets you curious to find out what the rest of the course is going to look like if you've never been there before so i like the old rustic designs that they have on the course too the little canteens and the you know the, the water cans and especially inside of the sawmill where it's got that old uh stove which i actually in my basement here i used to have one over over on the other side of the room 
and uh, looked kind of like that. But they're heavy. Let me tell you, they are heavy, and they're they're really beautiful when you maintain them and you clean them up. You know, I really like how they have two 18 holes. I did not see that the last time I was there because, like I said, the direction that we went. That used to be a slingshot game where you would take the, the water balloon, put it in the slingshot, launch it up, and try to get it. You would stand under this, like, it kind of looks like the bottom of a porta potty. That's the best way I can describe it. There was a hole above you, and you'd stand underneath it, and you'd have to aim and try to get the water balloon in the hole and splash and let the other person. And now they've made that into an 18th and now 19th hole. So I really like the layout of it, though. I think it's very interesting. I, I like how you get to choose between difficult and difficulter. So I thought that was a really clever and uh, funny sign that they had put up there. There was another thing that I was thinking about too when I was on the course as far as the layout and I cannot remember. Oh, that's right. I like how there's multi-tiered holes. I like holes with tubes and tunnels and stuff and I feel like this course had a lot of them and I think they were very fun to play. I like how the layout of the actual greens are all different you're not getting straight on shots all the time you know what i mean so there's that i feel like that it plays a major uh role in how the how the course plays so yeah i think the the layout is going to to be a solid seven and uh i enjoy it i really do enjoy it the scenery is also going to get a seven Again, you can't see everything from certain parts of the course, but it also makes it nice. But, you know, the fact that the course itself, the, the greens itself, they look eh, but everything else around it looks nice and beautiful, especially near the back of the course where you've got, like, the, the bench inside of that bush area thing, gazebo thing. Then you've got the gazebo. Then you've got the actual uh, quarry... Uh, mine shaft looking thing which kind of disappointed me I always thought that was an actual mine shaft and it's not you've got that you've got the 